Hey guys, welcome to another episode of All Base Creations Effects Tutorials, Demos, and Review. Today, we're going to be going through the brand new Tone X1, which is an amazing amp modeler, um, or stop box modeler as well. Um, it does um, fuzzes and preamps and EQs as well. So, it's not just your um, bass amp head, it's not just your bass um, cabinet. It also does your bass fuzzes, overdrives, distortions, and EQs. Alright? So, um, as you can hear, very realistic amps. Like, because what they do is they allow you to model different amps that you may have at your house um, or anybody else. And it's a community. Um, you know, I'm actually, personally, um, first... Subscribe, like, and share before we get too far. I really need y'all to hit that like button more and subscribe a lot more. And you know what I'm saying? I'm going, I got plenty of more stuff coming up for y'all and tips and tricks. So, um, it allows you to pretty much any amp you have, and I've done a few, you just listened to a couple of them. Um, it allows you to, to model that stuff together. So, the Aguilar AG preamp I have which is over here on my pedal board, um, a little bit off screen at the moment. But I took that and this Fender, it's a Fender, Fender Bassman 115 Neo back there. I modeled that together, and I did the Gensler and the Magellan and the Fender Bassman. I did the um, TC Electronic, uh, what's that, the BH500 and the BC410s. Did that um and I also did the preamp from the BA um BA BA two ten V two um ampeg and I did the Magellan preamp the AG preamp by itself and the SGT and um the ampeg SGT and the Eden WTDI I did all of that last night and was able to model it get it in here and I just got this pedal yesterday. And I'm already able to present you guys with amp models, you know, which is amazing. Um, just right off of the bat, um, tips and tricks. 
So first things first, when you're first setting up the software, make sure you give it access to your microphone. If you don't, audio will not go to the software. So um, even if you're using a different um, audio interface, it, it still won't. Audio won't come. It took me a, it took me quite a bit of time to to figure that out um, because I thought it was saying, "Do I wanted to use the built-in microphone?" And I had said no. So in order for you to use a preamp with this, you're going to have to give it access to your microphone on your MacBook if you're using Mac, at least. Now, um, right off of the back, um, let me explain something that um, IK Media Multimedia. If somebody from y'all from y'all team, I need y'all to work on this. The um, and this because this is just a firmware update, but. I can't, so unless I'm in stomp box mode and I'm bypassing the pedal, when I'm auditioning sounds in the software, it's making it run through the three presets I have. One of those three presets, whichever one's selected, if the pedal is active. So basically, right now I have it in um, stomp box mode. So that gens, um, the Magellan and the Fender Bassman thing you see there that's highlighted in brown. Um, if the pedal is active, right, and I want to go, say I want to go down here to this list of the tone models down bottom, I can't just audition those without them running through the stomp box mode preset. Or if I'm in dual mode, it, it, it you can't um, you can't turn it off or bypass it at all. So you it's going to run through those presets that you have built in there. Unless you bypass the pedal. The only way to bypass is go to stomp mode um, and go to, and, and bypass it, press bypass. Because stomp mode allows you to turn the toggle switch to turn on and off, okay? So they can fix that with an update. It's not the end of the world, but it is something you need to be aware of when you are auditioning <clears throat> tones on here that you may have downloaded from ToneNet or that you made yourself because... I was trying to audition stuff, and I was wondering why everything sounded different or the volume sounded different. It's because they were all running through. They were all running through this. So let me make sure that came back up. Yep. So um, I have it bypassed. Well, I had it bypassed. Put it on stop mode. Turn the um, pedal off, bypass it. But now you can audition stuff in the software and not have it. Um, be affected by the presets you have built into the pedal. Um, very important to making these sound good. So, let's say in here. So, um, as you can see, I have I've downloaded some stuff and I've made some. Like I said, let me get to the ones I made first. These are all the ones I made last night, between last night and today. So, I was literally able to model a lot of my gear, um, and which allows me to take pretty much all of my amps with me everywhere I go. And so, let's go through some of these. Um, you heard the two Aguilar ones. So, and the BA one. So, let's start with the Eden. Thank <laughs> you. 
So that's the Eden um, WTDI. And just for a quick reference, here's what the actual pedal sounds like. 